Hi guys, welcome back to the Canny Tally. My name is Zoe and if it's your first time here, welcome. Um, and I'm so glad all of you regulars are also back. Well, at least I hope you're back. I just presume you're back, but I'm sure you are. Anyway, um, things are getting a lot brighter. Uh, I am feeling a lot happier myself. Um, husband's sort of recovering well enough as can be expected um, after his accident. One thing that did happen, I couldn't believe through the week, I got a text message off my daughter. She, my two daughters went to Ibiza with their grandma on their dad's side. And I got a text message while I was at work. I didn't get it to my lunch break on Monday. Uh, no, sorry, Tuesday. Um, what did it say? It said, Mom, I'm so scared. Please answer your phone, Mom. Mom, please answer your phone. Loads of missed calls. I was like, oh my God. So I tried ringing back, no answer. So then there was a text message off the eldest daughter saying, Mom, I really need to talk to you. Tried ringing, no answer. So then I texted the grandma now, are the girls okay? They've sent me these text messages. I'm a bit worried about them. What's happening? She read it and then she went offline. And I was just like, what on earth? You can imagine what was going through my head. I thought they'd been kidnapped, you name it. Anyway, they got back to us. Um, she was seeing a doctor. She had been really, really bad with an upset stomach, pains in her stomach, whatever. Um, turns out the thought she had food poisoning and then they sent her for an ambulance and put her on a drip in a foreign country and I was just like oh my god I feel so helpless and I couldn't believe the timing of it I was just like I don't believe this two days into my first job and this was happening on my lunch break after everything that's happened I thought people will not believe me it's like you cannot make this up in our family honestly so then the thought she had appendicitis they found fluid or fluid around her appendix and um, they were taking off her scans MRIs you name it and um, they sent her out after all the blood tests and things came back clear and they said it is just food poisoning and um, which is bad enough she's only 16 bless her um, and she's a little nervous character anyway so she got out that night and um, felt a little bit better after being on the fluid drip because she's very very dehydrated um, and they flew and once they flew home flew back to the UK to their dads um, today so they're back on UK soil and um, grandma's going to take them to the doctors, take them daughter to the doctors tomorrow and um, just for a check over just to make sure she's alright but she sounds a lot better than herself and um, so uh, one more drama but luckily that drama only lasted kind of 24 hours but it was long enough for a parent when their child's in a foreign country and you feel really really helpless. Anyway that was my drama, all's okay, fingers crossed, touch wood, pray, all the rest of it. So this week um today has been a really nice day Um, my mum's been over she, she came on sunday which was sighed a breath of relief breath of relief breathed a sigh of relief that's what i want to say Um, she just came to help out it's just been it's just been a godsend Um, so today i was off because in northern ireland the um 11th and 12th or 12th and 13th in some companies is a bank holiday of July and um, it's when they have their giant bonfires and all the parades and things and um, it is quite a political thing but for anyone who's not from Northern Ireland they can see in quite a carnival atmosphere so it, positives and negatives I'm, I'm not getting into it online and um, but I got two days off work so for me it's a positive thing two days off work and I'd only started the new job on Monday and um, the new job is going brilliantly as I say I've only done two days I really like it and um, the people are lovely and um, the boss is lovely all the managers are lovely the people I work with who are training me Um, I'm back in tomorrow and then it's weekend again so I'll be off again so this week's been a good week to kind of start to kind of ease us in where it's nice and quiet as well because of the July holidays and um, so I'll, I'll know more next week when I get a, a proper feel for it but at the minute it's all positive and I feel like I've made the right move. Um, so anyway, because I was off work yesterday and today, yesterday the weather was horrendous, just lashed all day. Today it was lovely, so I arranged. My mum's always wanted to see the Titanic Museum and I've lived here 10 years and I haven't taken her yet. So I promised I would take her to the Titanic Museum. So hubby was well enough to leave on his own. Um, took him up in bed, he's had his painkillers, he was fine. We took the little one with him, with us, so he wasn't looking after him. And hubby's sister, my sister-in-law and her husband were coming around for an hour or so on a bit chat with him. So I knew he wasn't going to be totally on his own. Um, so went to the Titanic Museum and we had a lovely time. My mum loved it. The little one was really good considering because it's it's not a real museum for kids as such. There is like one ride in it, but other than that, it's, it's a lot of reading because obviously the, the Titanic, they haven't lifted any artifacts because they can't um so it's a lot of reading 
um, and old photos and things like that. So he's nearly seven, but he did really well considering. Uh, he got a bit bored towards the end. And then we went along to um, a cafe on the Titanic dock um, in Belfast and we met up with Lou and Alex from Endless Budgets, which was amazing. They live in Manchester, but they were over because she's from Belfast. Um, Lou is anyway. Um, so she was visiting family over here. So because she was visiting family over here and I was off work, I said, look, why don't we meet up? This would be really cool. Um, so we all met up and had a cup of coffee together and a, a little cake and things. Um, so it was nice. It was this little honesty cafe. It's so quirky. Like everything is donated. It's a bit like a charity shop. The chairs, the settees, the cups, the saucers, the pictures on the wall, the artwork, you name it, everything's donated. And you just get your, they do suki teas, like all the flavours. They do like different flavoured scones, tray bakes um, and your normal tea and coffee as well. That's it. It's not like a big fancy cafe, but you literally order whatever you want. That's a half anyway. Uh, they do soup as well sometimes, but they didn't have it on a day. Um, and then you put in an honesty box what you would like to pay for it. So you could pay more than what you would pay. You could pay what you think was pay. Or if somebody was maybe having a really, really hard time. Um, or a student or maybe someone homeless they wouldn't have to pay anything and um, they've got an honesty box on the desk and a little paypal symbol on the tables which you can just scan so that it's really quirky i love it poor lou <laughs> she just kind of she didn't know what to expect she thought it was just a normal cafe she's like have you got any iced coffee and they were like no latte no <laughs> have you got any skimmed milk no <laughs> i was killing myself laughing because i've been before i know what it's like um, but it's my kind of place. It's really, really quirky. Anyway, so I had a lovely, lovely chat with them. Really nice to sort of put faces to names and faces to hands as well. Um, and she brought that other daughter along. I'll not name my other daughter just in case that other daughter doesn't want to be named um, because she's not a budget error. So it's, well, I don't think she is. Um, so it was nice. I knew I had a lovely time with her about an hour or so with them. And then we had a walk back around the dock and then we all went our separate ways after we took some photos there on Instagram on my stories. And um, if anyone wants to go check them out, they might still be up. I'm not sure. And um, anyway, so today, so here's my little gin just to celebrate. It is a little gin. It's a massive glass and it's about three quarters of a bottle of tonic is in there. It's like a tiny little bit of gin on the bottom. My mum laughed. She says, you're putting all that tonic in. I says, that's, that's where I like it. Get me fluids up. So that's me celebrating my last day off and back at work tomorrow so this week i have this left over so sort of getting back on track a bit some things has gone over some things like petrols was on track spent 50 well 50 pound a penny i'd budgeted 50 pound and um, food was slightly under um mammy tally is here and um, we've been kind of working the budget between us like one getting the Chinese, one getting the food shop, one getting the day trip out, one getting the coffees, that kind of thing. But she does have a little treat. She does treat us. So I am under budget on some things, which is really, really kind of her. Um, she's actually upstairs getting a shower. Otherwise, she would be on here saying hello. She said she might come on next week and have a little bit, say hello, but she doesn't know what to say. Not that any of us actually know what to say. We're just kind of ramble on. Well, at least I do anyway. So Mammy Tally says hello. So got one, two, three... Four pound, ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, forty, fifty, two, four, six, eight, four, fifty-eight. Right. Well, first of all, I'm going to put two pounds straight back in my ice cream fund for next week, so that saves us finding change for that. Right. That's in there. So that's sorted. So we've got two fifty-eight. So I'm going to put fifty-eight pence in the um, massive tin, penny tin. Put that in the side there. Uh, there we go. And I'll mark it. <laughs> Do you know when I told you I'd sort it out off camera? Well, I didn't. I haven't done it yet. So 58 pence in there. And I am condensing it. So we've got £1.46 on this one. Plus 58 is £2.04. So I'm going to condense that one as well. Anybody that's gone, what is she doing? I know what I'm doing. So that's all that matters. <laughs> right so that's that done so we've got 32 pound left to save now i did say through the week i was going to be emptying my envelope challenge and um, i've worked out the budget for next week and if hubby stays away from the bank card obviously you can't get to the shops but as long as he stays off online shopping and as long as no unexpected bills come out i think 
we're going to be all right we're going to just make it without opening that challenge so we'll wait and see obviously it is there if i need it um rather than using the overdraft but we'll just wait and see how we go um so obviously i'm not going to lock the, this 32 pound away as such i will put it in savings but i'm going to put it in easy accessible savings just in case so i'll pop that there we're going to put this let's have a look so first of all i'll put the two pound in that i spy because that's just loose change so i've got my head so where's the two pound i've colored them in now and hardly see them um it's all right so the purple ones are two pound right okay i've done them ones i'll color these in they weren't set as purple i've just decided myself they're purple um so diamonds i haven't done any moons yet so we'll, we'll do a moon it's a purple moon it's the wrong color purple but it does not matter that's the really bad coloring in as well isn't it <laughs> terrible my little lad does better than that right pop that in there he's been learning dr dots with grandma it's been really cute he loves them um i'm sure she's sneaking back along here are you going to say hello or not yeah. oh she is she's coming to say hello to everybody do you want to put your hands in or not <laughs> do i want to put my hands in or not everybody knows you buy your hands on here don't do they yeah that's my hands oh, that's my hands well they're all quite similar so this is mammy tally everybody hi everybody hi this is mammy tally was canny tally yeah <laughs> i'm just telling um, about we're day out at the titanic today with oh, you and alex we had a fabulous day didn't we it and it was nice. lovely to meet alex as well just to be able to put face to names isn't it yeah, yeah so it was really nice we had a it, maybe an hour or something didn't we with them I would yeah before we went away is that the first time coffee? you've met like internet people yeah see i've yeah. done it before so it doesn't phase on me but i know it's like a like a different Oh, she was just see, lovely to talk to her and her daughters weren't they, they were mm -hmm. really really nice yeah. so i just want to say folks i'm so proud of my daughter since she started <laughs> this she's been awesome she's honestly the money she's been able to save and put put aside towards other bills etc and um, up and coming events is amazing she's Aww. been brilliant so proud of her. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, while thank you're you. on, you might as well tell everybody about King Charles. Sit down and tell everyone about King Charles. Oh, man. Well, I didn't get to the King's Garden party. So you can tell them what happened. I'll drink well, me well, they know, you they know, don't know why you didn't... Yes, yeah, so no, because of Paul's accident. Because of Paul's. Right. So obviously we're both gutted, but it was the right thing to do because her husband comes first and her anxiety was through the roof. So I had said to her, no, just, just stay at home and I'll go. I really missed her. I missed her being with me on the day. However, she did... I don't know if you put them online, did you? The yes, photographs. The, um, they were like, um, what do you call them? Filters, Instagram filters with crowns on. With crowns and um, ro like royalty seats be behind her and Paul. So anyway, the king was coming. I had a I had lovely, lovely afternoon tea, etc. And then the king was doing his rounds and he was like, obviously had a, quite a few people to go around. And I pushed my way to the front, a bit cheeky, but I did anyway. Um, I was one, one a lifetime opportunity, so so be it um but what i did do um there was uh, as he came around there was a woman you went to shake hands with and i stuck my hand out to make sure he didn't miss me <laughs> so um he shook my hand and i thought what am i going to do here and just prior to that i thought if he comes this way i can either get a photograph of him or i can um show him whatsapp pictures of Zoe and Paul and the wee man with the crowns on. So I knew I had to be quick. So I had said to him when he come along, he, he, oh, hello, hello. I said, oh, your majesty, <laughs> pleased to meet you. I said, but I, says, I must say my daughter's absolutely devastated. She couldn't be here. I said, she was due to come over from Northern Ireland. I says, however, her husband's had a really nasty accident. I says, and he's broken his neck and he's crushed his knee and he's chipped the bone in his elbow. But I says, however, I says, if you've got a minute to spare, which obviously he didn't, but he was too polite to say no, <laughs> So he says, oh. so I says, I've got some photographs. I says, this is her tribute to you. And I went through and I scrolled through them. And he's seen the one with the wee man with a crown on and he, he, he giggled and he laughed. Then he'd seen the one with Paul and his oh, and Paul with his neck brace on. Oh, 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 do send them my best wishes, won't you? I said, of course I will. Oh, yes. <laughs> so he was with us after all on the day. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised so, you're not on the news of breaking protocol. <laughs> I know, I know. But I had a cracking day. It was lovely. But I did, I did miss my daughter. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, yeah, now. Right, I know. <laughs> I'll sign off, guys, and I'll let Zoe crack on with a with a yes, budget chat. Yes, I better chat. do what I'm actually here for. Okay. <laughs> nice to talk to you all. Have a good week. Bye. Bye, Mammy Tally. <laughs>
we probably sound really like to anyone who doesn't know us. I know um, on the phones and stuff, people say we're really like. And we'll both get really jolly when we're together because my mum lives in Scotland. So her husband will be like, you've been talking to your Zoe because you're more Geordie. And Paul will know when I've been talking to my mum on the phone because like, you've been talking to your mum, haven't you? And I'm like, why? And he says, because you've just gone more Geordie. So if I'm more Geordie, that's why. Right, £30. We're going to put £30. Let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing. We can do roll it up. We can do... Don't I spy one? Let's do that one. Excuse me. What's that, Jim? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. We'll do Scouse Girls. I don't want to start loads at once. I kind of want to do one and finish one. So let's see. Let's put 10 in roll it up. As you know, I am not um, rolling a dice. I'm actually just marking them off. So six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I'll do it this way. Do six, two, and two. Right. So we'll pop 10 in, roll it up. Right, there we go. So that's now got 15 in, which is amazing. Where are we going to put £20? Should we start this one by grounded budgets? I know I don't want to start loads at once, do I? I want to kind of finish one. Oh, what I do, what I do. Hmm. Tell you what, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I'm all indecisive. Okay. Uh do I, do I do another one and roll it up? I don't know. I'll do another five and roll it up. I'll do another five and roll it up. Right, if I put another five in there and take 20 in and take 15 out, that's not right, is it? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing here. If I want to put another five in, I have to take 15 out. So about, does that mean I've got 20 pound in there? Hang on a sec. <laughs> I can't even do maths today. Hang on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, that's right. 20 pound. Right. I'm covering pen now. 20 pound and roll it up. So that leaves us 15 pound. I am going to put I'm going to do it in this one by Budget with Head. This is a little freebie she gives us, and I haven't used it yet. I started using it for um, ground jump, but I ended up just deciding not to do it yet. Um, so I'm going to put 10 in there. Uh, I'll put 10 in. There we go. Pop 10 in there. Start that one. This is just a £40 challenge. It is a little freebie. I did laminate it. Um, thank you so much for your order. Because um, I am just going to do like small budget ones and then sort of condense the other ones. Um, oh, them two's taking the mick out of me or something. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, £5 left. I'm going to do it roll it up. <laughs> Stuff it. I'm just going to do it and roll it up. These are probably all screaming at us, just going, just do it and roll it up. Just put the first 25 in. So then that means, da da da. I can cross off at 25. Uh, I'll do a swirly thing. There we go. You're on a roll. Thank you, Jen. Even though I haven't even rolled it up and I've just stuck it in, but same difference. Right, as I say, that's not locked away. That is in there. I can easily clean that off the laminate and take the money out if I need it. Um, but we'll wait and see. Let's get cash stuff for this week. Um, I'll try and do this quickly because I'm aware I've probably rambled on too much so food this week i haven't even counted how much money i've got have I? Oh, let me see 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 50 60 70 80 90 95 200 205 right there's a scottish one we've got this must be something my mum's put in when we're um we switched money for stuff the queen's very crossing so kerry and Scottish Highlander and Glasgow Mum and whoever else I've missed because I know I've fallen quite a few Scottish people they'll recognise that one there's the Ulster one now Royal Bank of Scotland and Ulster Bank are actually kind of linked it's the same little um, symbol and stuff they have um, it's the same company I think so that's why those notes are quite similar with the way they do their pictures and things um, I've actually got a Scottish Fiverr as well 
Um, I've got two Scottish fibers. So that's similar to the Ulster Bank ones with the pretty pictures, but they've got the fish on the back. So 205, so we're going to put 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 into food. I've mixed all these up again now, haven't I? Oh, hey, what a mess. It's because I'm trying to rush it. Thank you all for your well wishes and your continued support. Um, subscribers are going back up. Thank you very much for that. Um, I'm actually on 100 and, sorry, not 100, 810 ish. Um, I will do a giveaway when I hit the 1000. If you want to share my page or double check you subscribed or tell your friends about us, whatever, um, I'd really, really appreciate that. Um, to sort of mark off that, what do you call it? Milestone. That's the word. Getting tired. £50 in petrol, so £20.40, £50 in petrol. I do still have half a tank, so I may or may not need that, um, but I'll be at work every day next week, so um, I probably will use it, to be fair. Um, home and garden is getting 10 I had to dip into the sinking funds, um, took £30 out and then spent the other £10 um, for light bulbs. We had like five light bulbs out in the kitchen. We're literally had, we're using the hob light, you know, the little extractor fan. We're using that for weeks, so five bulbs for the kitchen. Then all the under lights, we had to get those, about six of them out. Then the dining room had about four out as well. So when my brother-in-law came today to see Paul with his sister, um, he kindly put all the bulbs in for us. Them stupid spotlights where you have to squeeze them and stuff. So that's done. So the home sinking fund is completely empty. I know this is just me regular payment envelope type of thing. It's not a sinking fund as such. Um, it's like a cash envelope. Alcohol, you had to laugh. I said on my last video that I wasn't putting any money in an alcohol because hubby's on the morphine, he's not allowed to drink it. Um, and I had a bottle of wine given to us off somebody um, and I don't really drink wine. So I said, <laughs> I said I'd said i keep it for my mum for like a present when she came over. I'd, I'd give it to her. Well, I forgot she watches my videos, doesn't she? So when she came on that night, I was like, oh, mum, yeah, I've got a bottle of wine in the fridge for you. She gave us a like sarcastic smirk and she's like, is that, is that the one you got off someone? And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot you watched that. Anyway, so I am putting 10 in alcohol um, just in case I want to buy my mum a bottle of wine or some non-alcoholic um, Guinness for hubby. He likes that um, and it's non-alcoholic so nice little treat for him to feel like he's sort of having a little drip of beer. Um, pets is getting five. Um, they do still have a lot of dog food in the garage but the cat might run out of food because grandma feeds him constantly and he's getting fat. Shh. School's getting nothing. Um, charity's getting nothing. I'm at work, so I'll not be going to the charity shops. Um, miscellaneous, I'm only going to put 10 in this week. and um, We're doing quite well now. Things have sort of settled down a bit. Um, my husband does have an appointment next week. Um, his dad will be taking them because I'll be at work. Um, if he needs a couple of pounds for um, parking, he can take it out with that. But other than that, I don't think we'll need anything. Um, what else do we have? So personal money is here so the little one gets five Drop that in there. Uh, middle child who is now out of hospital from Ibiza and back in the UK also gets five pop that in there um, and then me and hubby get five now I didn't spend mine this week um, so, because I've only got 10 there, I'll take that five out and I'll put that in. So that's mine of last week and this week. If it's still there, come payday, it'll go into my savings. If not, I might have spent it. So hubby gets that one. Um, ice cream's already in and that's us. So we'll see how we'll go next week. Um, child benefit is due in. Um, I've sawn the bike, so um, we got the refund for the tax on that. So I've put that straight in the Monzo pot um, to pay for the tax whenever... Yes, he is getting back on his bike, apparently. Um, whenever he's better and he needs taxing. Or the car, whatever. But that's me done for now, anyway. Um, might see you through the week, uh, might not. I'll keep you updated on Instagram stories. If you do want to follow us on Instagram and I haven't accepted you yet... Send me a little message, let me know who you are because I do still have about 10 people who are sitting there um, with 
um, friend requests and I'm kind of like I don't know who you are because I can't see any mutual friends or anything maybe you don't have any mutual friends and that's fine but just drop us a message and just say look I watched your video on YouTube and um, I'm one of your followers or whatever and I'll happily accept you I just don't want random real life stalkers like family members that I may not care for too much and things like that okay um, so catch us all later thank you very much for your support and enjoy the outtakes and the photos bye Thank you.